so today we are going to see how to create customer and vendor master data so in the previous class we completed the configuration steps for creating the business partner and today we are going to discuss and see how to create customer and vendor master data so to create customer and vendor master data first we are going to create the business partner and then we are going to assign the role of customer and vendor to the business partner so let's go in the system and create the business partner and then we are going to create the roles of business partners and as customer or vendor so first we are going to assign the customer group to the business partner role so let's go in the configuration screen and assign the customer and vendor group to the business partner roles so go to spro reference img so we are going to see in the cross application components first we are going to see what are the business roles so sap business partner business partner basic settings business partner roles so define business partner role source sap already defined some business partner roles as standard so i am going to use the standard business partner roles but we can also create our own defined business partner roles as per our requirement of the client so i am going to see the business partner role of vendor which is flvn00 so these two roles are the vendor roles so one is created for company code another one is created for purchasing organization so for when we are going to create the business partner role for company code we can also post we can only post the invoices financial invoices we can post to the business partner which is created under the fi vendor role and if we create the business partner for purchase organization so we can route the invoices from mm side so what is where from where the invoices come from the mm side so it is generated with the reference of po so if the invoice is generated from with reference of po is generated from the mm side and if it is not generated from the po side then it is only posted in fi so like utilities invoices we only post in fi so for when we are going to purchase some material from customer from vendor so for that case we are generating the purchase order and then we are posting the invoices with reference of purchase order so let's discuss when we are what is the process of generating invoice with reference of purchase order so let's go and create so if the invoices are generated from with reference of purchase order what is the process so in the initial process the required department will create the purchase requisition so it is generated by required department which needs some material so then these purchase requisitions are comes to the procurement department and procurement department then analyze all the vendors and generate the purchase order for that vendor purchase order is generated by procurement department and after the purchase order goods are delivered from vendor to our company then the store department will post the good received note so good received note is posted by the good by the store department 
and after the good received finance department will post the invoices for that vendor so invoices are posted with reference of po by finance department and after the invoice posting treasury department will give the payment to the vendor payment will be given by the treasury department so this is the whole procure to pay cycle so what is so in this in this cycle first the required department will post the good received uh, purchase requisition and then purchase order is created by the per procurement department and then good received note is posted by the store department and then invoice is posted by the finance department and then the treasury department will post and give the payment to the vendor and this is the whole procure to pay cycle so there is another one cycle for the customers which is order to cash so for that we are going to create the customers so their role will be fl cu00 so these are the two roles created for customer so first one is in the financial accounting so in that case we are only posting the invoice of our customer so in the second case invoice is routed from st module so from st module there is whole order to cash cycle so let's discuss what is in the order to cash cycle so let's go and create one cycle here this one so in the order to cash cycle first the quotation or pre order is generated by the sales department what the sales department will do it will visit all the market and create the pre order or quotation for the customers when customers give any order then the sale order is created after the sale order delivery is created and after the delivery we are posting the billing and then the recovery department or another treasury department will receive the payment so this is the whole order to cash cycle so if we are going to use any customer for order to cash cycle we are extending to the role of sd customer so let's go and assign the customer and vendor groups to the roles so for that i am going to master data synchronization so customer vendor integration business partner setting setting for customer integration so let's define bp role for direction customer to bp so my group is h1 this is for customer flcu00 we will create for this role so another role is f1cu01 so for both the roles i am going to use the group h1 save go back and let's define for the vendor integration group is h0 
customer vendor group H0 and my role is FL VN00 VN01 save so now come back and create the master data of vendor and customer so there are two types of data one is master data and another one is transactional data master data is used and remain unchanged for the long period of time so we are not going to we are not daily changing the master data of customer or vendor so the transactional data is the invoices like uh, we are going to uh, post the vendor invoices customer invoices customer payment vendor payment these this is the transactional data so let's create the business partner and assign the role of customer and vendor so for this business bp is the role bp is the transactional code bp let's create the company organization and my group is so first i am going to create the vendor so my vendor account group is the account group so this is my vendor account group i am going to create the company vendor one so i am going he lives in the office of our vendor is in house zero one postal code one two three city lahore and the country is pakistan language is english address so multiple fields can be defined here as per our requirement we can define multiple fields so let's save so you can see our business partner is created so this is the number range we define for our business partner account group vendor account group so system picks this number and assign to our business partner so let's go and create the role of this business partner change so let's go and create the role of this business partner as vendor so i'm going to create so go to company code i'm going to define this business partner as a vendor role in my company code ha01 and assign the reconciliation account and in the payment transaction we can also define the payment terms as i defined h010 check it is right Z zero one zero Z one zero one zero one. Sorry. So this is the payment term I'm defined. I defined for my vendor. So let's save this. So the vendor is created. So you can see the number for supplier and business partner both are same. so we use the master data synchronization con concept and assigning the same number for customer and vendor as well so my vendor is created so go back and create one customer as well so for this i am going to use bp create the organization i am going to use the customer customer account group number range so my customer account group number range so this is my customer account group and create the customer customer 
I am assigning the same data 1, 2, 3, 1, 2 or okay. so these are the mandatory field by using the country field system is going to pack pick the tax tax assigned to my country so these are the mandatory field save this so my business partner 3202 is created and assign the role of customer so I am going to assign the customer role customer financial accounting go to my company code and assign to the company code to this customer H A 01 assign the reconciliation account payment transaction so F4 so I have assigned this reconciliation account which I defined for as a GL so what the system will do it will simultaneously post the customer vendor invoices and payments to the vendor ledger as well and to the general ledger account as well so here I define my reconciliation account FS00 I can check here so I assigned the asset under the asset account receivable so you can see I assigned this general ledger account to the customer so you can see here I created this reconciliation account reconciliation for account type customer so in the vendor you can see this that is for vendor so like this I have created the reconciliation account so save this so my customer account is created now so you can see both the numbers for customer account and vendor account and business partner are same so I have used the master data synchronization concept so that's all for this video for creation of customer and vendor master data so in the next video we will see how to post invoices so thank you for watching